Hi guys, this is PC Entertainment. I'm your host Priscilla Nichols and welcome to another episode of True Foodie Travels. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. It's where I take you on travels with me to all the best eateries around DFW and abroad. And this episode brings us to the great city of Austin, Texas, where they definitely love their food and so many options. And we're going to find out which ones are the best and I'm pretty sure it's all of them. But our first stop is right here at Gordo's on South Lamar Street. And I hear they have awesome homemade donuts with lots of goodness on top. So we're going to go in here and check them out and find out what they're all about. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back to True Foodie Travels. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. <laughs> we are here at Gordo's Public House in Austin, Texas, out here on the patio. And what Gordo's is, is homemade donuts, freshly made donuts with goodness on top. And they have a variety of sandwiches, of hot sandwiches, cold sandwiches. They have burgers and they have chicken so we've had chicken and waffles right well this time we're having chicken and donuts oh my goodness so this is called the mother clucker so it's just crispy fried chicken strips on top of a homemade flaky donut drizzled in honey butter sauce so we're going to take a dip and right on in and see what it tastes like so again we have the chicken and we have the donut Mm, and we have the honey butter sauce, let's taste it. Mm. Very good. It's like, I don't know if you guys know, but I remember as a kid, when I got to make my homemade donuts, we go buy the biscuits and the can and get the grease all hot and punch it out, put your hole in the middle, or stretch it out and put your hole in the middle and dip it in the grease and you have the best made donut possible. That's what this tastes like. It's definitely a homemade donut. Not tasting like out of a can. <laughs> they hand do these every single day freshly. But that just reminds me of when I was a kid of the donuts I got to make. It started in home ec, so I don't know if you got to do it. I did, so. <laughs> but it's so great. And the chicken just, wow. It's just, it's amazing how you can just put certain things together chicken and donuts breakfast and brunch dinner lunch i don't even know <laughs> but this is really good and that honey butter sauce ties it in really 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 well it's a little spice to the chicken but not too much just enough flavor to it so it's seasoned very very deliciously so yeah and the donut itself is just like i said it's just some flaky doughy goodness check it out look at that isn't that pretty mm. Hats off to the chef. <laughs> Hats off to Gordo Donuts. <laughs> well, I'm going to take care of this. And we'll be right back. Alright guys, we are back. Welcome back to True Foodie Travels. So I am at Pat Pint House Pizza Brew Pub in Austin, Texas. And it's a brewery as well as serves multitudes of different types of pizza. And they have tons of different types of beers on tap. So every month they have a special pizza they make. So for the month of August, it's called the Jimmy Pesto. And the Jimmy Pesto, take a look. So this is prosciutto, mozzarella, basil, kamala olives, pesto sauce, and a wonderful red sauce at the bottom. So they also have gluten-free pie crust. So we're gonna look at it and take a, and take a dip. And oh, oh, and whole roasted tomatoes. Oh, I almost forgot about the tomatoes, right? So here it is. And you can see the crust is very thin, and it is loaded with toppings. Check that out. And it's really busy and packed in here, so I have to talk a little louder than usual, but it is what it is. So we're gonna take a bite and find out what this is all about. So as you can see that tomato, the juicy tomato right here, right there, see that? Mm. Oh, it fell off, so yeah. of them 
having a monthly pie is to make creations to put things together that you wouldn't think would go together. But we all know anything you put on pizza, right? Pizza is just good no matter what. But I'll tell you, the tomatoes are juicy. This crust is delicious. They also offer a gluten-free crust. I don't know if I said that or not, but they do. So I love a thin crust. Look at that crust. It's so thin. That way you get more flavor of what's on top rather than just a mouthful of bread. <laughs> so good. These are all homemade, fresh, ready, ready to go. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look, look, look. Shut up. Nothing is too much. Everything is like proportioned very well on here, which gives the flavor absolute great taste. And the crust is, again, amazing. I mean, you probably just eat the crust by itself. Well, again, it's packed in here. It's a really popular place in Austin. And I can see why. Mm, nothing like good fresh homemade pizza. Mm. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this. And enjoy it. <laughs> and we'll be right back. All right, our next stop is here at Tyson Tacos in Austin, Texas. Hmm. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys what I got. <laughs> I'm a first timer with this meat choice. So we're gonna get to experience this together. Say it with me, together. <laughs> Besides, I couldn't leave Austin without trying tacos somewhere. And this is True Foodie Travels, and we are all about trying something new and different and bizarre, you know, and just everything, whatever. So, what I got was the crispy duck taco. Ooh, duck, my first time with duck. Ah! I'm excited and nervous all at the same time, but I hear this place is amazing. So, this is crispy duck. Let me show you guys. It's crispy duck, Hassan. So it's Hussan, green onions. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See that, you see that, see that? Yes. Chicharron, duck chicharron. If you don't know what chicharrones are, it's skin. So it's usually pig skin. This is duck skin that's on this. Chicharrones on a flour tortilla. I think what we're gonna do is taste the duck first since I've never tasted it before. That way I'm not, nothing's, you know, hiding the taste of what I'm supposed to be tasting. Taste. <laughs> Remember, it's all about flavor. And you see how big this taco is. That's a lot of meat on a taco. Look at this. That's a lot of meat. Look. Mm. So crispy duck. Oh. There's the duck meat. Oh! It's not bad at all. Oh, and it has cucumber. Not a lot, but just enough. Oh, look at this. This is the chicharron. It's the duck skin. Oh my god. Let's taste it. Oh! That, folks, that is delicious. I have totally been missing out on this whole thing with the duck. So now we're gonna try it all together. The duck, the chicharron, the cucumbers, and the green onion. All on a flour tortilla. 
Let's give it a whirl. Yes, it is actually, it's a stand, but they also have seating out here as well. On a patio, they have a closed-in patio. Big flavor, big, big flavor. Totally out the box. Completely out the box for me. That green onion just kicks in like nobody's business. Nice, I love green onion. Pass off to Tyson Tacos. I'm gonna put Tyson Tacos, excuse me. Um, I'm definitely suggesting the crispy duck. It is so good. They have all kinds of tacos. They have breakfast tacos. They have pretty much every meat tacos possible. They have array of options, but I ask for you to step outside your box and try this crispy duck. <laughs> so good. I'm very impressed. And I do like that it's on a flour tortilla. Mm. Right? And that Hassan sauce is so good. It's sweet. So it complements the duck very, very, very well. Oh my God. All right, guys. <laughs> That'll do it for me. This is PCN Entertainment. I am your host, Priscilla Nichols. This was another episode of True Foodie Travels. And until next time, let's travel, meet, and have great eats. And try something different. That's what it's all about. That's what life is about. Stepping outside your box. Create a memory for yourself. Give yourself a reason to go back. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.